It has been a rocky few years for Manchester United as a football club, but tonight we get a little bit of a glimpse at hopefully a brighter future. Manchester United's under 18 tonight in front of a record crowd of over 67,000 people inside Old Trafford watching our under 18s win the FA Youth Cup for the first time since 2011. On the same night that Eric Ten Hag, our new manager coming in to the club this summer, clinched his third Eredivisie title with Ajax with a super convincing 5-0 win against Heerenveen in the Amsterdam Arena. Amsterdam's going to be a carnival tonight. There'll be a party inside the Old Trafford dressing room. Not for the senior team, for the under-18s who were watched by, as I said, a record crowd. And what a... It gives you a bit of hope for the future, doesn't it? It really gives you a bit of hope about what could be next. I've got it written there. A manager who's built his career at Ajax on blooding the youngsters, on bringing them through and turning them into top-class players. And we've got a set of under-18s there with Alejandro Garnacho stealing the show. The, the player who was given the Jimmy Murphy Academy Player of the Year award before kickoff, and a player who absolutely delivered when he needed to the most towards the end of that game. It was Reese Bennett who got United off to the start. But I tell you what, Forrest, it might have been 3-1. I would say that score was a little bit flattering to Manchester United. Ultimately, it was the quality of Garnacho that came through at the end. But Forrest can feel a little bit hard done by for the fact that that probably wasn't a penalty. But hey, United took it and this man popped up. Wow, Garnacho really took his star moment tonight. He was there celebrating like Ronaldo. He said he was going to do it on Instagram and he absolutely did it. But what a what a moment for all those uh, those those kids, man! And, and as I said, what what bright what a moment of hope, genuine hope, genuine optimism about what is coming next under this man, Eric Ten Hag, because these youngsters there, they delivered there. It was a tough game. I tell you what, Nottingham Forest hats off to them. They got to the final, I and mean, then they're going toe to toe for the under 18s as well. I still think they've got to play, but the, they still yet to play, and they're kind of like on level on points in the league. I think that'll be an interesting game. But Garnacho, man, how can you not talk and focus about Garn on, on Garnacho? I, I thought Kobe Mainu, watching Mainu play in central midfield, wonderful. He looks like a player who, um, for me, under 18s just seems underneath him. Uh, Hansen was great. I think he's a little bit lacking of physicality. Kind of reminds me of Mats Muller Dali. If you watch the under 18s back in the day, you remember who he was. But it's Garnacho night, isn't it? It's absolutely Garnacho night. He was the one who stepped up to bury that penalty. That was his calm celebration there before whipping out the Sioux. And he was twisting the blood of the Nottingham Forest defenders to make it 3-1. You could say he got fortunate with the deflection if you really want to. But ultimately, it was his moment tonight. And ultimately, he is the man who's going to take those headlines. And heading into next season, we've got a 17-year-old gem on our hands called Alejandro Garnacho and a manager in Eric Ten Hag. Who? Loves playing. Yo now look, look, it's a double celebration here tonight, man. Look at the, the celebrations out in Amsterdam were fantastic. Eric Ten Hag getting mobbed by his players. You can see there the players celebrating. Him just whispering in Anthony's ear. He goes, I'll see you at Old Trafford next season, mate. Looking forward to it. Uh, mate, I tell you what, there was wild atmosphere. Absolutely wild atmosphere. And now look at that. Isn't that a wonderful sign? That was that was in the Stretford and the banner there. The class of 92 coming through with this manager at the helm. It is a perfect, perfect... I call it synergy if you want. It feels... I don't know. I've, I've, been, I've been saying that's why I felt optimistic as a United fan for the first time in a long time, and not about how we're playing football, but about what's coming, about the, th the changes that are happening behind the scenes. And now tonight there, perfect. Eric Ten Hag winning the title with Ajax and the under-18s putting on the show when they needed to put on the show in front of the biggest crowd they've ever played in so far. And it was a huge pressure game, man. As I said, Reese Bennett came up with the goal, but Nottingham Forest were good. They were good tonight. And it was toe-to-toe -to -toe pretty much through until the 70, what, 75th minute, roughly, when Garnacho got that penalty. Forrest will feel hard done by, but he had to bury the penalty, and he took that pressure. And I'll tell you what, if you watch, Garn if you watch the game and you watch the last 15 minutes... Garnacho wasn't passing to anyone. All he had in his mind was, I'm scoring. All he had in his mind was, I'm taking the shots on. I'm taking the chances. I'm taking the responsibility. And he was the one that scored two goals. Some can say it's a greedy trait, but when you're good enough and you deliver, absolutely, I want you to hog the ball. 
I'm very, very excited to see what he can do next year, man. But look at this. This is a, crack, a cracking little sign that was, it was in the stretch. And Glazers are shite. The kids are all right. The first time since 2011 that our youth team have won the FA Youth Cup. Been a long time, man. That, that, that team back in 2011 had Tom Thorpe as captain, Ryan Tunnicliffe. I remember those. Um, obviously, Jesse Lingard had Paul Pogba, Tom Heaton. No, Tom Heaton was 2003, wasn't he? But, mate, what a great night for the future of United. We're not going to jump on board and sort of try and be on the bandwagon for Ajax winning the title. Fair play to Ajax. Congratulations to them for winning their 36th league title. 36, my God. 36th league title, but they're third under Eric Ten Hag, and it really was the perfect send-off. You could see what it meant to Eric Ten Hag to have that because after the the, the disappointment of the, of the cup final against PSV, for them to be able to do that in front of their own fans, you saw what it meant with the celebrations. You saw what it meant to the fans. And I tell you what, this just fills me with hope about what is coming next. It's been a really, really rough, really rough eight, nine years. A club getting torn apart effectively by Ed Woodward's dirty mitts. Uh, but now, with this crop of youngsters there, now hopefully with a squad that Eric Ten Hag will be able to mould and make into his own, with a new transfer strategy that can bring us back to where we need to be, can bring the right players into the club and also blood the right youngsters that come into this team. I would say Maynou is someone that really looks very, very good from that team. Thought uh, There was quite a few players that had quite a quiet game. Charlie McNeil, I thought, had a quiet game tonight. Uh, Sam Matha was quite quiet. For me, it was Maynou who stood out in midfield, not simply because he's physically bigger than the rest of them, but it's just watching him break through the midfield, confident with the ball at his feet, and he also wears all black boots. And that is also immediately just like 10 extra points. He looks great. I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do. But Garnacho, man, how can you not focus on that lad? He had, for, for him to have done that, he got the award, the Jimmy Murphy award before the game kicked off and to deliver in the last 20 minutes there, Nottingham Forest started to tire and that's where he shone. He stood up. He was, he was the man that came through right at the end when United needed him to. And look at that, man. Double champions. It's been a terrible, terrible season. But this is so stunning. It's such incredible support. After, after the worst season we've had in the Premier League, when morale is so low, after a 4-0 drumming away to Brighton, there were 67, over 67,000 fans inside Old Trafford. Fair play to Nottingham Forest fans. They were there singing. Over 5,000 they brought, but over 60,000 United fans were there to watch the under-18s win the FA Youth Cup. That's a wonderful moment that none of those players will forget, from Reese Bennett to Mainu to Hansen and, of course, Garnacho. Garnacho really has shown himself to be a star tonight. It's, you know, that was He scored seven goals, I think, overall in that FA, Cup, FA Youth Cup run. Um, scored in the semi-final and scored two tonight. The penalty to make it 2-1 and the 3-1 to clinch it with the shirt off celebrations. Wonderful night for the future of Manchester United. We've got a manager who's coming into the club off the back of winning the title. He knows what it means to win and he knows what it means to build winning teams as well as an under-18s who have achieved something that no under-18s team, under team at United has succeeded in 11 years. It goes to show how well our academy has done over the last five, six, seven years has been real sustained improvement and growth and players like Alejandro Garnacho coming into the academy and turning themselves into stars. I can't wait to see what he does in the preseason tour. I'm sure you can't wait to see what he does in the preseason tour. But next season, let's see what club, what who from the class of, of the 22 will break through into this first team. As I said, for me, looking at it there, Manu and Garnacho are the two standouts. McNeil, he might have had a quiet night, but he's a lethal goal scorer. I'd like to see Hansen, but I don't know, he seems weak, but I suppose everybody said that about Paul's goals, isn't it? Didn't they? I'm just, I don't know, man. After years and years and years of not looking, not effectively not looking forward to what's coming from Manchester United, saying that, I went into the season, thought we were going to, we were one midfielder away from competing. But hell, this season, we, we signed Ronaldo, we signed Sancho, and we signed Varane. And the end of it, you know who's taken the headlines? Our under-18s. And fair play to them. They delivered there on the biggest occasion on a night where they must have been nervous as hell. But I tell you what, didn't look like Garnacho was nervous. Let me know what you're, what you're thinking in the comments below. But double champions, Ajax winning it with Eric Ten Hag. The under-18s winning the FA Youth Cup. The future really does look brighter 
at United than it has done for the last few years. And I'm excited for that. 